Benny Parrett challenges welterweight title holder Don Jordan. Las Vegas, 27th of May, 1960. These boys are using eight ounce gloves, 15 rounds, world title at stake. Beautiful day here in Las Vegas, the land of perpetual sunshine, 89 degrees, 10% humidity. Champion on the white trunks, challenger in black. Seven minutes after seven, uh, Las Vegas time. One minute to the end of round one, and we're out here in the desert at Las Vegas. Tonight, uh, Perrette would like to be able to fill the shoes of another Cuban champ, Kid Gavilan. He won the welterweight title in the 51. Perrette was born in Santa Clara in 37, fought his way into this title spotlight. He's regarded as a fairly good performer in his native country. He won 20 out of 24, but it was his showing here in the United States that brought him this recognition. He twice defeated the number one challenger, Charlie Scott, and then he held a Federico Thompson, who was a knockout winner over Jordan, to a draw, and that paved the way for this fight. Uh, you may or may not have noticed that at the end of each round, the referee goes to each judge and uh, picks up his decision on that round, walks over to the right corner of the ring, hands it to a commissioner who marks it on a master sheet. So there's no chance of adjusting.
uh, in the 80s outside, and uh, the sun is still shining here. It's air-conditioned in this uh, spot here, so both fighters uh, are enjoying a rather cool air to work in. If you're scoring this, we again remind you, it's the five points goes to the winner of each round. If you call the round even, you give five points to Paris, the challenger in black, and the champion in white. A lot of people divide each round into a, a miniature round of one minute. Who won the first minute, second minute, and third minute? I notice how uh, the champion uses the palm of his gloves when he moves in close. He lays his palm on the right, uh, he raises his right palm on the left arm of uh, the of Tourette, and then he slides his left glove up under the armpit. That's his usual approach into the clinch. Tourette, in the meantime, is busy fighting, and they're trying to fight in the clinch. Now the referee is going to mark his ballot, and you'll note that he scores the winner of the round, and then he picks up this judge's ballot. Uh, this judge is Ralph Mossa. He's a uh, businessman here, a former president of the JCs, and uh, in the electronics business. Now he goes over and he picks up the ballot from Ray Lassard, who is a maintenance engineer at Desert Inn, the site of the famous uh, Tournament of Champions soft tournament. Now he hands this to the commissioner, and the commissioner has a master sheet in ink. So that down below the referee there, they are keeping in ink an account of each round up to now. That's so there can be no adjustments, so to speak, or any last-minute changes. 